Morning guys, uh, today I thought I'd do a quick sort of guide to what tools I use on a day-to-day -day basis. There's probably more in-depth reviews about certain aspects of the job, um, but for this one, I'm just gonna show you the basic stuff that I take to work every day so I can lay a few bricks. The first bit of kit, of course, if you're gonna lay bricks, you're gonna need a brick laying trowel. This is a Marshall Town 1912. Um, it was a lot bigger than that when I first got it, but uh, over the years they wear down. Some people like other makes, WHS and Ox and all sorts of different makes, but I seem to get on alright with the with the Marshall Town. Um, so yeah, that's the first piece of kit you need in your box. You need a trowel. Next thing I carry is a level. Uh, if you're going to lay bricks, you need a level. If you're going to lay them level, you need a level. So. I carry a 600 level, a 1200 level, uh, so we get that in the box. But also, I also, in the way of levels, I carry a boat level as well. Uh, boat level's handy if you're doing your soldiers, above lintels, or all sorts of aspects. Trying to level up a block at the first time. Really handy to have, so yeah, grab a boat level, make sure you get one of them. And also you are going to require, once you've done your work and built your work, it's up level, you're going to need a jointer to joint your, joint your brickwork. You know, it's all well and good having it all full, this isn't actually been pointed, but you need something to joint up your brickwork with. And then you've got a thicker one, or you use the block work when the perps are thicker, or the bed joint's thicker, or for whatever reason the joint's bigger. Use the bigger jointer so there's brickwork jointer smaller one narrower one neater blockwork one for the inside a brush you need a brush especially after you joint your brickwork this is a nice soft horsehair brush so when you you brush your work you don't want to leave any marks in it from brush marks so these are nice soft brushes leave no mark at all so catch your joint in at the right time give it a nice brush a diagonal brush you shouldn't leave any marks in your brickwork. So there's your brush. That's got to be in the box. Probably something that should have been in the box first of all. But of course, a tape measure and a pencil. You've got to know the size of whatever you're building and you've got to be able to mark stuff. So both are essential in your toolbox every single day. They are going in. Brush. Now let's move on to cutting stuff. You need to cut your bricks. Simplest way to do it is with a hammer and a bolster. This is just a JCB two pound lump hammer. I also have a four pound lump hammer. I don't carry that every day, but this I do. It's a four inch Vaughan bolster. Uh, you can get them off Amazon, I think. Top quality, that bolster. I've had that now for, God, 10 years, at least 10 years. Still cuts to the to precise every single time. I can't recommend them enough. The Vaughan bolster. And I say, yeah, uh, hammers. Here's a two pounder, and I also have a four pounder. But for the sake of this, that'll do. So they're in the box. Moving on to the next thing string lines and corner blocks. Some of you boys might have seen these ones. I think these are pretty cool. The old finger ones. But yeah, you need, if you're doing anything, any work of any distance, between two sections of brickwork, it's best to pull a line, and these are the best way to secure it to your brickwork. Simple corner block, tie the string off around the back, and run your line through the centre. Send it down the wall to the other end. Pull a tension, and then tie off another one the other end. You can then put them on your courses, and then you know you're running through nice and true. So they have definitely got to go in the box. In the box. All right, something I also carry is a plug-in chisel. If I need to uh, set a, any sort of profile up, I've got four clamps, so most of the time you don't need to set more than two profiles up if you're just by yourself. If there's others of you there, you'd expect all of us to have four clamps and a plug-in chisel so you can plug into the wall, get your clamp in there and then clamp on your profiles something you can put your string line around so they have definitely got to go in the box yeah 
this. This is another thing I always carry is a block saw. These are pretty damn good. Um, cutting your cell con blocks, absolutely superb. Plus, if you're doing something around someone's house and you need to cut into or take out a bed joint somewhere, really handy this saw. So that definitely found in my box. So that is your basic toolkit there really. Everything you really need to just get by, you know, day to day. So you're not carrying too much weight and you'll get 90% of your jobs done with, with these small bits that you know, you've got, you just carry in your box. Um, obviously, yeah, your, your four foot level as well. Um, if you're doing more involved work, obviously you're gonna need more, more gear, but this will get you through the basics quick work if I would add something I think it would be the the smaller jointing pointing trail because uh, they come in so so handy especially when you're tidying up around certain areas you can't get your big trail in that's just a job so yeah I'll go put one of them in there as well happy days <coughs> Oh yeah, so uh, hopefully that gave you a bit of insight into uh, what you need to do the basics of brickwork. Um, obviously there is a lot more tools that you can buy. Um, you can go uh, go in and in and in uh, of how many more, more, how much more stuff you actually can use. But um, like I say, that is the absolute bare minimum you need to uh, build yourself a wall. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, Monday, We'll be back on the extension job. So uh, tune into that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace out. Take it easy.